Hey there, second graders. Happy Tuesday. Yesterday, we started our chapter book, Horrible Harry and the Ant Invasion. And if you uh, listen to the first part of the book, we learned that Harry's class was getting an ant city. And they, the teacher had ordered the ants and they came in this little vial. And when she got them in the mail, they took them out and they were putting them into the ant city and two of them got free. And Harry had been elected to be the ant monitor for the class. So he decided that it was his job to go and rescue those two ants or find them. And he put some peanut butter on his finger and the ants came and the teacher took them off his finger and put them into the ant city. But she was not happy because Harry had broken the number one rule that she set out, which was don't touch the ants. So now Harry is very upset because he has lost his class job as the ant monitor. So let's continue chapter one and see what happens. The next morning, Harry was really quiet. He didn't join our conversation about ants at the science table. They bury their own dead, I said. They bury their own food, Mary said. You, Sydney replied. Look, those ants are kissing. Miss Mackle walked over to our table. Ants pass food by kissing. Sometimes they send messages that way. Sydney fell off his chair and rolled over on the floor laughing. You may return to your seat, Sydney. Ida is about to feed the ants and I want only serious scientists to watch. Sydney frowned as he walked back to his chair. Harry frowned as he watched Ida doing his job. Ida filled an eyedropper from a bowl of sugar water. Then when the teacher removed the roof, Ida squeezed the eyedropper three times into the ant house. There's a picture of Ida feeding the ants their sugar water. I'll get it back, Harry whispered to me. Get what back? My ant monitor job. I looked at Harry. I could tell he was making plans. How? All I have to do is get on the teacher's good side. Then I can ask for another chance. Just then, Harry tipped back on his chair and his baseball cards came tumbling out of his pocket. Miss Mackle put her hands on her hips. Harry, put those things away. Baseball is a distraction in the classroom. Harry got down on his knees and picked up his baseball cards. I don't want any more antics from you today, Harry, Miss Mackle said. Antics, Harry repeated. That's an ant word. Miss Mackle smiled. Yes, it is. We have lots of ant words in our language. Maybe we should think of some. Harry clapped his hands. Hmm, I thought. Harry might just pull this off. I'll start, Miss Mackle said. Antifreeze. I had to put some in my car this morning. Antarctica and Atlantic. Mary said, looking at the globe. Good. Any others? The teacher asked. Antipasta. Mr. Cardini, the principal, said as he showed up at the door, and everyone laughed. My mother makes the best antipasta in the world. Salami, cheese, black olives. Mmm. Just stopped in to visit the ants, said the principal. Miss Mackle continued the lesson. Elephant and panther, I said, thinking about animals in the zoo. Harry held up the book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Giant. Miss Mackle wrote the new words on the board. Fancy, Ida said. Nice try, but that doesn't have a T in it, Miss Mackle said. Ranch, Sydney asked. That is a C-H word. Our class seemed to be stuck. Then Mr. McCartney, the principal, saw two ants kissing and he stood up. I've got one. Romantic. Everyone groaned as he waltzed out of the room. I've got the best ant word, Harry said. Then he pointed to the December calendar. Santa. Everyone cheered and clapped. Then Harry stood up like he had had the biggest idea in the world. Why don't we draw pictures of ants carrying these words? We could, we could make them go up to the stairway and invade the second floor. Invasions, I thought. Harry loved them. 
Miss Mackle looked at the long list of ant words on the board. Let's do it, she said. Everyone took out their crayons and scissors as the teacher passed out brown paper. I'm making a black ant to carry my word, panther, Harry said. I'm making a huge ant to carry my word, giant, Harry said. I'm making a big red heart next to my ant. Everyone knew what ant word Mary was using, romantic. When all the ants were drawn and cut and the words were neatly printed above, the class lined up in the hall. Miss Mackle walked us to the stairwell. Let's hope we have enough to make it to the top. We will, Harry called out. Then he whispered to me, we have to. She'll be in such a good mood, she'll give me another chance to be the ant monitor. We started taping the ants at the bottom of the wall near the stairs and made a trail going up and down and around the stairwell. There's a picture of it. You can see they're on the stairs and they're hanging their pictures. When we got to the top, we were one word short. Everyone sat down on the stairs. I knew we couldn't do it, Sydney complained. Well, Miss Mackle replied, maybe tomorrow. Harry made a face. Then he reached into his back pocket and pulled out three baseball cards. The Yankees, they won the pennant this year. An ant word, everyone shouted. Miss Mackle clapped her hands. Bravo, Harry, you can make the word today and put it up. We reached the second floor thanks to some distractions, and she looked at Harry's baseball cards. Harry beamed at his teacher. If I promise to follow your directions and science, will you give me another chance to be ant monitor? Miss Mackle put her hands on Harry's shoulder and smiled. All right, Harry, I don't see why you can't. Harry was horribly happy. And that's where we'll stop for today. To get some extra credit points, see how many words you can write in the comments below that have the word ant inside of them. Have a good day.